Hello, and welcome to the seventh installment of the Mac Basics 101 tutorial series here at Apple Byte. Today we'll be talking about using Safari. Safari is the default internet browser that comes with Mac. It is your portal into the internet. And so it's good to be able to get acquainted with how it works and some of the neat features that it has. So let's go ahead and open it up. It is this compass right here, Safari, on your dock. And when you open it up, the first thing you'll see is a bunch of different websites that Apple recommends that they have put into your what's called favorites bookmark. And you can configure these. If you click and hold, you can actually move them around. And I'll show you later how to actually control which websites show up here. But looking at the rest of the window real quick, right here you have your sidebar. And in your sidebar you have, again, your bookmarks. You'll notice that these websites down here correspond with what shows up here in your favorites bookmark. So you'll have your bookmarks listed out here. This is your reading list. When you are on a website and you want to save it to read again later, you can add it to your reading list and it'll show up here. And then this is more for shared links. For example, if you want to subscribe to a website to get their notifications, etc., those notifications and those those subscriptions will show up right here. Moving across to the URL bar, this bar has been integrated so you can either type in a website like apple.com or you can also do a search in the website. So just type in Apple and it will do a, a search instead of going to the direct website. So this bar serves as both a search tool and a way to get to a specific website. And over here is your refresh button if for some reason you need to refresh the website. And then over here is how you create a new tab. And so you can have multiple windows open in multiple tabs. To close out of a tab, you hit the X right here. All right, so that's the brief look at the Safari window. Now if you look at your options up on the menu bar, you have your pretty standard options, file, edit, view. History is where you can review the best sites that you have been. You can also click show all history to see the websites you have been, to view your bookmarks. We're going to go in here. If you want to edit bookmarks, click that. And then here again, we have our favorites folder for all our favorite websites. Um, in here, you can actually click and just hit delete on your keyboard, and it will remove those items from your favorites bar. If you'd like to have a different folder, click new folder here and say, you label, label it whatever you want, test bookmark folder. All right, and it is empty as you can see. So you still have your favorites bookmark folder, and that's what shows when you first log into Safari by default. In order to add a bookmark, what you do is visit a website. For example, let's say we want to bookmark YouTube. So we'll go to youtube.com and once here, we can go up to bookmarks and then add bookmark. And then it will say add this page to, you can choose which folder, bookmark folder you want to add it to if you want it in your favorites or your test. So let's do the favorites. This is the name of it. You can just put a description if you'd like and click add. And now you have a bookmark in your favorites. So if you close out of Safari, quit out, and then you open it back up and sure enough, there's YouTube right there, the new bookmark that we just added to your favorites. Bookmarks make it so that you're only a click away from any of your important websites or websites that you visit frequently. So for example, let's go to YouTube, you click it, and it pulls up YouTube right away and you're there. And so it just speeds up your internet browsing using bookmarks. To finish off this tutorial, we'll look at Safari preferences as this is where you'll spend a lot of your time if you have any issue or trying to configure Safari or different things, it'll be here in the preferences. So let's start in the general tab. And an important thing to note here is this is how you set your home page. So if when you open up a new Safari window, you don't want to see those favorites bookmark, you'd rather go straight to a website, you can actually set it here. Uh, so new, new windows open with and then you can set your home page if you'd prefer. And you can then choose that home page one of two ways. One, you can type in a website like youtube.com or since I'm already at youtube.com right here, 
I can just click set to current page and there it is. And so now when I open up a new window of Safari, I'll open up to YouTube. So that's an important part of the general tab. Uh, looking through here, search is also an important feature. Right here you can choose your search engine and so by default it is Google. Um, but you can also choose to search using Yahoo, Bing, or DuckDuckGo. Um, and uh, so if you ever have any issues with a default search engine, this is where you choose what you want to search with. Then we'll go into the security tab. This is likely where you spend most of your time in Safari preferences. Um, and here in security, you have several uh, options for security measures one of which is block pop-up windows. This can be very helpful, but also there are times when you'll be on a website and you'll click on a link and nothing opens and it doesn't seem to be responding. That is likely because it is blocking a pop-up window. Sometimes it lets you know that a pop-up window is being blocked, but other times it does not notify you. And so you want to come in here, decheck this and try to open up a link again, see if then it opens up in a pop-up window. And then the other important one to note is the internet plugins. And so in here in your plugin settings, this is where you'll find Adobe Flash Player, Java, Silverlight, etc. A lot of the common plugins used on the internet. And uh, by default, Java and Flash Player are actually off because they consume a lot of power and they also open up your computer somewhat to security issues. And so by default, they're off. But to turn it on, you can check that. Um, here you can set which websites are allowed to use Flash Player. And so as you can see, YouTube currently it's saying is not allowed to use Flash Player. The problem is some videos, a lot of videos on YouTube require Flash. And so I'll need to turn that on in order to properly watch YouTube videos. By default, when you visit a website, it is set for off. And so every time you visit a website that requires Flash, it'll ask you if you want to let the website use Flash. Sometimes it'll say you do not have the proper plugin, etc. different messages. They're all, most of the time it's talking about Flash being turned off. And so this is where you can turn it on. And then the last tab that I wanna focus on is extensions. Extensions are very helpful. It's a way to expand your browser. So if you go and look at the Safari extensions, we have a whole list of ones that Apple trusts that they have on their website and you can add to your browser to add features to it that you'd like. For example, here is an ad block extension that is featured here. So if you want to add it, we can click on it, click install now and it's installed. It's that easy. So now if you go back up to Safari preferences and you look in your extensions tab, you now have an extension in here. If you want to disable it, you just uncheck that. And if you want to un uninstall it, you click that. And just like that, that easy, it's gone. And so that is how you manage your extensions as well. So that's a quick look at Safari. Like I said, it's your portal into the internet world. And so it's important to be comfortable with it and to know what features are available. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and leave a comment down below of other tutorials you'd like to see in this series. And subscribe to the channel for more Mac related videos, how-to, troubleshooting videos, etc. I'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks!